subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the effect of reactive gyroscopic couple on an airplane for the given conditions. So here is the case in front of us where we have to find the effect of reactive gyroscopic couple. Now the condition mentioned it is when the propeller rotates in clockwise direction. So this is the propeller and it is rotating in a clockwise direction for that here the observer is there behind the plane that is towards the tail end and this is the nose of the plane and we have to look from rear here is the axis of the propeller and this axis is called as the spin axis about which it is rotating in clockwise direction so looking from the observer the clockwise direction is over here denoted by omega the velocity of propeller and it is transferred here omega the propeller rotates in clockwise direction looking from rear now after this I would be indicating this angular velocity of rotation in the form of a vector for that use the right hand rule use the right hand and curl the fingers along the direction of this velocity this velocity is in clockwise direction angular velocity so when I curl the fingers in an anti-clockwise manner the thumb points towards the plane and this thumb indicates the velocity vector this is the velocity vector omega next Here the plane is taking a left turn for that we have to imagine that we are sitting into the plane and it is taking a left turn so when it is taking a left turn it goes in this direction and it means it is rotating about a vertical axis and that axis is called as precession axis. So it is turning left, rotation is in this direction, it is about the precession axis. That indicates the precessional velocity of rotation and looking from the top, this velocity is in anti-clockwise direction. So the next part would be, I would be tilting this omega that is angular velocity vector of the propeller in an anti-clockwise direction corresponding to the precessional velocity by 90 degree and that would give me the active gyroscopic couple. So this omega has been tilted by 90 degree along the direction of precessional velocity looking from top anti-clockwise direction in a plane active gyroscopic couple. Now exactly opposite to it would be the reactive gyroscopic couple. Next, once I know the vector of the reactive gyroscopic couple, point the thumb parallel to this vector of reactive gyroscopic couple and when I am pointing it in the direction of this reactive gyroscopic couple, the fingers are curling in this direction and this curling fingers, they show the reactive gyroscopic couple direction. So this is C the reactive gyroscopic couple and this same rotation would be transferred onto this plane. This is C. So the effect is the nose gets raised and the tail is dipped because of this reactive gyroscopic couple. And so the effect of this reactive gyroscopic couple is the nose gets raised and the tail gets dipped or lowered. So that is the effect of reactive gyroscopic couple for this given condition where propeller is rotating clockwise and the plane is taking a left turn. And once again, 
If you'll find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks a lot.